Question number two says that find the value of the division given in each of the bits. To start with, we'll understand that whenever a number is divided by another number, which is a power of 10, the decimal in the number moves as many places towards right as there are zeros in the number, which is a power of 10. So to start with, in the first bit, we have 4.8, which is divided by 10. So the decimal will move one place towards right. So the answer for the first bit becomes 0 0.8. 4, 8 after division. Coming to the second bit, we have 52.5 divided by 10. So the decimal will move one place towards right and now will be between 5 and 2. And the answer will become 5.25 for the second bit. Coming to the third bit, we have 0 0.7 divided by 10. So the decimal will now be moving one place towards right and the answer for this bit will be 0 0.0. 7. Coming to the fourth bit, we have 33.1 divided by 10. The decimal must move one place towards right and will be between 3 and 3. And the answer becomes 3.31 for the fourth bit. Coming to the fifth bit, we have 272.23 which is divided by 10. So the decimal moves one place towards right and now will be between the digits 7 and 2. And so the answer will be 27.223 as the answer for the fifth bit. In the sixth bit, we have 0 0.56 which is divided by 10. The decimal will move one place towards right and so the answer will be 0 0.056. Coming to the last bit of this question which is the seventh bit, we have 3.97 divided by 10. So the decimal must move one place towards right and so the answer becomes 0. 397 for the seventh bit and this is how we solve this problem to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers